Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable and enable prefetch and superfetch on your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So basically, superfetch, if you guys are not aware, in a simple terms I could probably describe it. Basically, Windows will look at your computer habits as to what kind of programs you might be open more frequently than others, and it will try and store this data for a later time. So if you always open up your computer and then try and open up a web browser immediately, Windows likely stores information regarding that so it can boot it up a little bit quicker. However, this does increase read and write times, so it can definitely be beneficial in some cases to turn them off especially for SSDs or solid state drives. I know this can definitely be a little bit of a nuisance. So this brief tutorial is going to show you guys how to optimize these drives to be a little more efficient. So again, this is my opinion, but a lot of other people have that opinion as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in regedit. One of the best managers should say regedit. And you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Now at the same time, I'm going to go back to the start menu and type in services. I'm going to open up services here by left clicking on it one time. Now I'm going to scroll down until I get to superfetch. All right, about here. Double click on it. Underneath service status, I'm going to left click on the stop button. And then I'm going to left click on OK. You can close out of the services window at this time. And now back in the registry editor, I'm going to expand the HK local machine folder right here. So now that you've gone underneath HK local machine, now you want to expand the system folder. Now you want to expand the current control set right here. Left click to expand that. And now you want to expand control. And now I'm going to make this side a little bit wider here so we can see where we're going. And now that we've expanded the control, you want to go down to get to Session Manager. Right here. Going to expand that one as well. And now we're going to go down until we get to Memory Management. Right about here. Expand that. And now you want to left click on Prefetch Parameters. Now here on the right side is what's very important. We're going to be working with these two values in here. The enable prefetcher and enable superfetch. So basically, we're going to double click on both of them here. So, value data is very important. Zero would disable it completely. If we set it to one, it would enable it for applications only. If we set it at two, we would enable it for boot. So, basically, it's only going to be enabled when you boot up your computer and not with applications. And three is going to do it for both boot and application files. Now, you're welcome to disable both of them and change them both to zero here. However, I've noticed that setting it to two is ideal for most people that have a hard disk drive, so an HDD. So I would recommend setting it to two for both of them. Now, keep in mind, again, if you have an SSD, I would recommend setting it to zero. And make sure base is set to hexadecimal as well. But again, value data, if you're using a hard disk drive, you want to set it to two. If you're using a solid state drive, you want to set it to zero. Then you want to left click on OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for Superfetch here. I'm just going to keep them consistent. So again, it just depends if you're using a mechanical or non-mechanical drive. So I'm going to click on OK. Once you're done doing that, I would recommend you guys restart your computer. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.